thank you for coming. Stop the War Coalition was founded not because of Iraq, because Iraq hadn't been thought of at that time, but was founded in 2001 after the invasion of Afghanistan, or just before the invasion of Afghanistan took place, and has been campaigning ever since then. And I think the issues that have done more damage to politics, to democracy, to respect for public institutions, uh, than anything else have been the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. And there's a sort of poetic justice that the former Prime Minister Tony Blair is, as we speak, running around London to find somewhere small enough and secure enough and secluded enough that he can undertake the signing of his book. Because, the, as you know, the second signing was cancelled from the Tate morning this afternoon. And, uh, Maybe he's on that boat out there, I don't know. <laughs> uh, that might be the next place to, to do it. But the issue of Afghanistan goes on. The deaths continue. The soldiers continue to die. The war is clearly unwinnable. And the expense in moral terms, financial terms, and particularly in loss of life of Afghan people gets worse and worse and the hatred and the divisions around the world get worse and worse, and the war is clearly already spread into Pakistan, and is, uh, many other countries are coming next. Parliament has not covered itself in glory in the past uh, <clears throat> nearly 10 years during this war, in that there's never been a vote on the Afghan war until tomorrow. It's going to be the first vote on the issue of Afghanistan tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. Um, I will certainly be here. And I shall be voting against the continued deployment of British troops in Afghanistan, and I hope many others will. I don't expect we're going to win tomorrow, but I do think it's a good opportunity, even now, to phone or email uh, fax or whatever your MP and ask them to be here and vote tomorrow. The vote will be at 6 o'clock. Uh, the other thing I want to report is that we've just, um, half an hour ago, established an all-party group called Afghanistan Time to Go campaign. There are officers of the group from the Green Party, the Labour Party, Liberal Democrats and Conservatives, Scottish National Party and Plaid Cymru. So all parties are represented in this group. And I think that would be very Very significant step forward. The joint chairs of it are Caroline Lucas and Paul Flynn, who will both be speaking here uh, in a short time. There are 